Hi, Victoria. Thank you so much for the introduction. And what a lovely day to be here today joining you. Um, as introduced, I'm Naz, Naz Kazazoglu, and I work in uh, the innovation team of Huxnet Support A Group. We look at future strategy, new trends, and topics that uh, we want to play with and introduce in our business. Um, so today, really, I'm here to talk to you about one of the topics that we spent a lot of time on discussing uh, last year, which is circular luxury. It's obviously a massive, massive topic. And um, today we're going to really approach it from a technology and innovation lens. Um, so before we begin, I want to introduce you a little bit to what we do at YNAP. And um, so our company, we are a um, multi-brand online luxury retailer. We have uh, four different multi-brand online stores in our ecosystem. Neto Porte and Mr. Porter are full price offering. Ux and the Outnet are off price offering. And we also support world's leading luxury e-commerce through our online flagship stores. Um, we basically like to say that we share the joy of luxury and fashion with the world. Um, obviously, we sell a lot of clothes and a lot of uh, things, right? But what really matters is basically, do we make the most of it as consumers? Do we use our, our clothes at their full potential? Globally, 50% of our wardrobes are left unworn. And in the UK, this rate is up to 80%. This is a really, really, really high rate. And when I first saw this, I was like, this cannot be true. Um, so you can just go to your wardrobe and do a simple exercise, guess a percentage, and then do a yes, no exercise, pointing at your garments in the wardrobe. And you will see that this rate is actually higher than what you think it is. This clearly shows that our relationship with our wardrobe needs to change, right? And uh, there's a lot of monetary and material value just locked in our wardrobes. So there's definitely some change that needs to happen in here. Let's flip the coin. What happens on the other side? As brands and retailers, how can we secure our product circular journey? Currently, only less than 1% of materials used to produce clothing is recycled. And this leads to a loss of around $100 billion each year. So this is also a massive, massive number. And we were really discussing a lot with our sustainability team last year and our team to basically try to approach these two problems, right? How can we make sure that the products we sell are used, circulated, and recycled properly in their lifetime? This is why we started working with E.ON, our digitization partner to implement digital ID technology across all of our four stores this year. What digital IDs are essentially, they're like virtual certificates that can be used to record each item's history, telling its story from manufacturing through use, resale, reuse, and recycling. And we really want to use this technology to give our customers more enjoyment through their luxury purchases. We want to allow them to elongate the life of their garment and increase the versatility of their garment. Let's have a look at how this works in practice. Um, so on the right hand side, you have a Mr. P item, uh, a green jumper. Uh, Mr. P is one of our private labels on uh, mrporter.com. And in this case, we basically work in the design and manufacturing stage together with the brand to implement a smart label into that piece of clothing. So this can be a QR code, NFC chip, RFID yarn, or Bluetooth chip that stays with that garment throughout its lifetime and carries its unique digital identity. It starts to get more exciting after this point. Um, so you basically connected a garment to a digital space and gave it a unique identity that can be accessed. We all know how to use a QR code, right? So obviously the first thing you can do is to give your customers a connection through that label. We can connect to our customers and talk to them about their product story, give them sustainable tips, and really work around that virtual styling and smart closet services. This is the first area that we decided to tackle at UX Forte Group that I'm gonna talk more about in a second. The other big opportunity area with digital ID is new models and services. 
Um, so obviously, resale, rental, repair and recycle services are key for a circular ecosystem. And you can offer these services through one click with your product and also be able to trace that garment as it moves through different services in its life cycle. This creates immense amount of data for brands. They will be able to now know where their garments are after the point of sale. This really connects me to my third point, which is around enterprise operations. So um, we can now, we're able to gather data, authenticate the garment and even optimize our supply chain. Um, we believe that society is really a key technology for a product circular journey. Um, and we're happy, we're very happy to be on board with E.ON and many other partners on this program. Um, next, I'm going to show you a couple of implementations that we've done at UXNet Support Group with this technology. So hopefully it will help us to dream a bit more. And after that, we're going to look at in the look at the future. So what the future can look like. Let's go. So um, the first one I want to you, um, Portent. So Portent Pair is a shoe brand that we have on netaporte.com. And basically, we worked with the brand on this project together to implement NFC chips in the bottom of um, the shoes. NFC, if you're not familiar with it, it is near field communication technology. And it's basically what your phone uses to tap when you're going on the tube or if you want to pay with your phone. So in this case, you can use your phone to basically tap on your item and access its digital ID. So on the right, you see a short version of the experience. Um, here, we're always working on building that connection with the customer. So we're talking about where the shoes have been made, which factory, what are the sustainable characteristics of that factory? How can you style your shoes? How can you care for them? So that we really create that emotional connection and help our customers to keep their items at its top notch level throughout their lifetime. Um, a highlight I want to do here in this experience is styling. So through user research, we've learned that styling is a key element for our customers in order to increase the versatility of their item and their wardrobe. And here, the styling is really different from what we do pre-purchase, right? When you're on the site, you're looking at a new item, we can obviously offer styling recommendations for that. But what happens if I scan this item four or five years down the line? It is impossible for a human team to undertake this kind of task, to always refresh styling recommendations for the same item practically forever. Uh, so in this case, we worked with our technology team and our amazing fashion team to create an artificial intelligence stylist. Um, so in this case, we're basically looking at what the customer already owns, looking at what we have on site that is more conscious, that can go with that item, and always can give our customers a refreshed styling recommendation. Next example we have is with Mr. P. Mr. P is our private label, as I mentioned, on mrporter.com, and it's all about craftsmanship and quality. So in this case, we're looking at apparel. We've implemented unique QR codes for each garment uh, that we've launched from our uh, Fall Winter 21 collection. And on the right, you can see um, some examples of what customers access when they scan the QR code. Um, what I want to, again, highlight here is uh, the localized services. So we have a global network of care and repair services that we're building at the moment. And we are serving these services through the digital ID to our customers so that they're able to see the service that is closest to them in their area um, that will take care of that specific garment at its best. They come to Mr. Porter for um, recommendations and their point of view. Um, so this was also something that our customers really, really appreciated. So this is what we've done this year. We realized that this is only scratching the surface and looking at that big opportunity area that we discussed previously, it is just a small part of it, right? So we did a quick exercise with our uh, user experience team to basically dream what the future could look like in this case. Um, it is a story. 
So I'm going to tell it as a story. It is a fictional story. Um, and I'm just hoping that the stories have the power to change the future. Um, so hopefully it will inspire us today um, coming out of this talk. So let's imagine we're living in a future where most of our luxury and fashion garments have a digital ID on them. And this is something that we're used to having. I'm Sylvia in the story, and I buy this amazing luxury bag that I really, really wanted for a long time. I receive it the next day in my uh, home. I open it and I scan its unique digital ID. What happens is all of the information about this bag is immediately populated uh, on my digital wardrobe. Digital wardrobe is a place where I keep all the information about my item, authenticity certificates, ownership certificates, and all the connected services. A couple of years down the line, I scratch my and I'm like, oh, I need to find a solution to this. I scan my ID and I book a repair service with one click. Repair We, this made up repair service, comes in my door, picks up my bag and repairs it. They also record this repair in the bag's digital ID so that the next owner can see it. In fact, I decide to resell this bag. So I resell it to Xiao, who is living in China and is really, really happy that she got her hands on this bag at a really, really great price on second hand. This time, Xiaoxu is able to scan the bag's digital ID and add it to her digital wardrobe. So now she's the owner of all the certificates that come with it. At the end of its life, Xiaoxu is like, I've used this bag way too much now, and it's time for it to probably be recycled, um, not be used as a bag anymore. So um, she scans the ID and books a service that will help her uh, basically give her bag a second life. They come and pick Xiaoxu's bag. And this time, it's quite interesting how it flips. This time, the service can use the digital ID to access all of its detailed material information, recycling instructions that will help Second Life to recycle it at its best possible way. Um, so this was just the story of the future that we wanted to share with you today. Um, we are aware that not one company will solve all of these challenges and not one technology will be the one uh, that will unlock all of the keys. However, by working together and by talking about this, again, uh, hopefully we will have the power to change the world. Um, if you're curious about our other initiatives related to sustainability, please have a look at our corporate website, wineup.com. Um, under Infinity, you will be able to see all of our sustainability, circularity, diversity, and inclusion initiatives. It is our 2030 sustainability strategy. And um, lastly, I want to leave you with a personal question, potentially. Um, before I worked in the space, I didn't really have so much awareness of what's in my wardrobe and how I use it. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more kind of conscious I tried to become. Um, so I hope you can take away something from today that will help you to extend the lifetime of your wardrobe. Thank you so much. Um, over to you, Victoria. Thanks, Naz. Really interesting stuff there. I'm trying to go through in my head all the items in my wardrobe that maybe don't get worn as much as they should. Uh, one of the technologies you mentioned there, AI, you mentioned AI styling. What role do you think artificial intelligence can play in creating a more sustainable future for fashion? Awesome. I'm glad you asked this question because it's one of our favorite technologies to play with at UX Net Sport Tech Group. Um, I think it has a lot of potential to help us design the right thing, sell it to the right person, and make them keep it in their wardrobe for a long time. Um, one of the examples I want to pick here is probably Otto by Ux, which is one of the private label brands that we have on ux.com. And uh, basically, we used artificial intelligence to design the collection. We used internal data from 20 years of, let's say, e-commerce history and external data from fashion sources to inform our designers. And they were able to create a collection that was really, really successful. Um, it's one of our top best-selling brands on UX right now. Um, so there's definitely a lot of place for artificial intelligence to be plugged in into that um, basically sustainable journey from design to, I would say, afterlife of a garment. 
Excellent. Thanks again for joining us, Naz. Thank you so much.